they had a package on the men's war games and Randy Orton's return and Paulie, I'm loving Nick Aldis. Are you loving Nick Aldis? Just the general flavor. I'm loving Nick Aldis, but also the dynamic between Aldis and everyone. Because everyone has like this weird relationship with him, especially Pierce. And I want to see where that's going to go. But Aldis has been great in this role so far. Yeah, and he's not being a, you know, he's not being a heel in a traditional sense where he's siding with the heels. He's being a snotty showrunner that's out for probably himself down deep. and. You know, he's uh, when he's interacting with Paul E, he wants to, uh, he's always wanting to call the shots uh, on this program as Aldous. So he's not, you know, cowering or whatever. Pierce is more of a baby face. He can get a little more exasperated with the situation and is more sympathetic in the, and also he's familiar and the dynamic between them is, Mwah. but Paul E's there with Aldous and Paul asked, Aldous, if he, if it's true that he invited Randy Orton to SmackDown, and Aldous says yes, and I'm going to sign Randy Orton to SmackDown tonight here on the program. And Paul E's, well, does Roman Reigns know about this? And Aldous says, well, there is an email that I get many times that says all communication to Roman Reigns has to go through Paul Heyman. So this is the communication. What are you going to do about it? And Paul says, anything it takes. So it's simple, but they're fucking, they're building some drama in a 45 second fucking interview with the top people in the company that you can easily understand. And there's no point system here. That's, I guess, what's getting over. So when are we going to get all this versus Pierce? Will it be a big thing like WrestleMania? Will they just do it on TV to settle like, some kind of debate. When do you think we'll get it? I we're gonna get it. There's no way we're. Well, gonna. no, but but I'm I'm not saying I don't want it. I'm saying I think WrestleMania is rushing it. I think they ought to run this thing for a long time, and have before they are actually physically put in a position of getting in the ring and settling the score or whatever. Because then one of the scores has to be settled and who's going to, unless you're doing a program with them. I didn't make people want it. It took me a year and a half to make commissioner Bob Armstrong a wrestler again in smoky mountain wrestling. And they didn't have the fucking cast or we didn't have the cast characters they have. So they could stretch this thing out. Like it could be an ongoing thing. It better be. No, but all this has been perfect in this role. And, uh, you know, this is the best way to use him right now. It's been great. But then, <laughs> I swear to God, then they, they do this stuff so well, and these people look like stars and look like important people. And then here comes another cheetah segment in the Tarzan movie where they go in the back and there's purely deadly, and they look ridiculous. And there, and Butch has the hangdog face, and they uh, talk bad to Butch, and Eve answered him back, and they beat him up. And I felt like with all the accents, I was watching the British Broadcasting Corporation. And it was a fucking backstage fight between models and maybe one of the fucking cabbies that showed up. It, 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 that, it's unnecessary. I'm not saying don't do anything with everybody on your roster. I'm saying the preliminary guys, especially when they look that ridiculous, don't all have to be in fights backstage. It just... It just makes it blah when the stars do it. Nobody cares anymore because it's always done. 